you must replicate this fidua in only 20 minutes. Whoa. Oh my god. I know. It's our shortest pressure test ever. How on earth am I going to do this? Are you ready to give us perfection in record time? Yes, yes chef. chef. Your 20 minutes starts now. Go, 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 go. So much to do and so little time. Got to move, got to move. Good job, good job. I got to get myself going here. This is do or die. If I don't get this dish done in 20 minutes, I'm going home. There are a lot of steps to make the perfect fedua. The home cooks have to first start off by heating up their broth and infusing saffron into it. Saffron, it gives a nice color and it gives a nice flavor, but you can't overdo it. It is such a strong flavor. Second step is toasting those fedua noodles. They need to be toasted to bring out the wonderful flavor. Good job, Jenny. Taste, 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 taste. I think my palate is probably the strongest in the competition, and having done another pressure test, I've learned to be super quick. 15 minutes! Only 15 minutes left. Whoa, nice scales, Roz, holy. Andre's competing. Knife skills are critical here. Ow! Ah! Medic! Let's keep going with one hand. Keep going with one hand. Jenny now has just injured herself. She is losing precious time. They've already eaten up five minutes of this challenge. Way to go, Jenny. Mom life right there. This is the craziest pressure test ever. Crap. I screwed that up. I put the broth in too early, and they're going to be mushy. I've screwed this up big time. It's not right, but I can't give up. I have noodles left. So I'm like, I'll toast some more noodles, throw them on the top. I'm going to pull this off. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I'm doing it. I told myself coming in here I wasn't going to give up no matter what. This is the last second. My strategy is to make sure that the squid is not overcooked. It needs to go in at the very last minute just to warm through. One, two, three, four, five. Chrissy, she has a Portuguese background. I'm sure she knows her way around many different kinds of seafood and shellfish. Just making a quick lid out of this. <laughs> Growing up with a mom that cooked a lot of seafood is definitely going to help me, but I need to make sure that my timing is right. I don't want to overcook anything. Hoping I'll be good. <laughs> ah, bread. Cut through my squid. Everyone in the East Coast is going to kill me because we do not really eat seafood at home. But I need to prove to the judges that I can go outside my comfort zone a little bit. One of her muscles exploded. Three minutes! You only have three minutes left! Let's go, Roz! Where is this man? It's on the counter next to him. Get it in there, Roz! Gotta wait till the last second so they don't overcook. Roz, you're gonna give me a heart attack. Get it on the plate, dude! I'm hearing people yell from the gallery. Ooh but I really don't want overcooked squid. That could easily send me home. Two minutes, two minutes, less than two. I'm very lucky I have a photographic memory. There was five shrimp, six mussels, and seven clams. There's no way I'm going home because I missed a shrimp. Am I missing anything? Am I missing anything? I have the exact opposite of a photographic memory. There's three, three, and three. But I'm not only replicating look, but I'm also replicating taste. It tastes almost exactly like it. One minute, you have 60 seconds. I want perfect Benoit. Looks good, you guys. My hands are moving before my brain. I just hope that I'm not forgetting anything. Watch the clock. I'm worried about the texture and flavor of the noodles in this dish. Right to the end, guys. You got this. 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Heads up! Good job, you guys. The home cooks have just completed the fastest replication challenge in MasterChef Canada history. And notice that all the other home cooks have way more seafood. I'm in deep waters here. Well, let's have a taste. This dish needs to taste exactly like the original. You know, the taste, you've gotten a good balance of that saffron, 
along with the rest of the seasonings being paprika and just salt. The clams, nicely done. Thank you, chef. Very sweet, very juicy. If you get through today, it'll probably be just on taste. Rojin! Rojin, Rojin. Chef, I'm gonna try the squid. I couldn't even bite through that. I think the rings, they look nice, but the squid tentacles are undercooked. Well, the cook on the noodles, almost perfect. But I don't know, just so many other flaws. Hmm. Overall, I think you achieved very close to what we showed you as an example. Thank you, Chef. You removed the other shell to reveal that beautiful muscle in the middle here. Mm-hmm. I'm just curious about the cook and the consistency and the seafood. That's incredible. I don't think you could achieve a more tender, succulent muscle. Thank you, Chef. Really amazing. Calamari is very tricky to cook. Yes. yes. I gotta be honest, it's a little rubbery. I'm gonna try the ring here. Okay. This is sensational. This squid has a wonderful texture and it's seasoned really well. Thank you. So, Chrissy, you've been the last one picked on most of the team challenges. Mm -hmm. Are you nervous in this kitchen? My whole life I was told I was not good enough and it sort of just stuck. Chrissy, the only thing that's missing from this recipe is confidence. Hey, Chrissy. Hello, chef. Let me taste the noodles. You've done this before. <laughs> Everything is there. And it's well seasoned. You got the saffron, you got the paprika, provided a little bit of kick. Well done. Thank you so much. Hi there, Jenny. Hi, Chef Michael. You look a little worried. I don't know. I mean, I've never made this before. Well, you know this was a replication challenge, right? Yes. Those muscles should have been in the half shell, which obviously is a bit of a problem. The cook on the seafood is, it's terrific. The shrimp is beautiful and moist. The mussels are still plump and juicy. And those clams may be just a tad over, but I find the seasoning a little on the underside. And I think you could have been just a touch more generous with that saffron. That lack of attention to detail could cost you. The noodles are slightly soggy and overcooked. That's why I added another bunch. That's risky business, Jenny, because you're gonna have some noodles that are cooked and some that are raw, mixed together. It's a big problem. Mm -hmm. Andre! Hi, Chef. This looks perfect. Let's taste the muscle. Beautiful. Wow. Clams look good too. Calamari looks good. Real test are those noodles. The flavors are all there in harmony and in balance. That is so flavorful. Wow. You know, the seafood speaks for itself, the way it's being cooked but you can have beautifully cooked seafood if those noodles don't have the backup that the seafood needs. And your noodles are terrific. And I really mean that. Enjoy the moment. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Andre. Fedewa is a tough dish to prepare. And every single one of you managed to deliver something respectable in only 20 minutes. 
but one of you cooked it like they lived in Spain their whole life. Andre! Yeah, Andre! Oh, I'm completely honored. The judges said I had a perfect dish. Like, who says that? I mean, that's super rare. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Rogine, please step forward. This was a replication challenge, and you delivered a dish that wasn't close to matching the one we showed you. But there were also high points. Your blend of spices and those perfectly cooked noodles. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough to save you today. I'm sorry.